Hey guys, what's up? It's like Torian. Today I want to show you guys how you can really, really easy paint your dinos and make them look very, very good. Like, take a look at this RG. This is something that I did myself. And I'm not an artist or anything, but it's really, really easy to do. So, um, we need a couple of programs, so I'm going to show you guys really, really quickly. So today we're only going to um, discuss how you can download... Um, it's called painting skins by uh, lack of a better word war paint is what it's called as well and how you can apply them to your dyno first thing you need to have and this is something you need to do is to have all the different colors of paint in arc survival evolved so you need to make the normal colors with uh, charcoal uh, the berries and water but also all the colors with gunpowder okay now we have that settled in this is the first thing you need Okay, let me all tap out and let me show you guys what you're exactly going, going to need. First of all, what we need is this program called Arc Paint Converter. Yeah? It converts images to Arc PNT. That's what we need. You can get it right here. Uh, I will leave this link in the description down below. And it can convert images two uh, PNT files which you need for your um, to make it work in ARC so um, the only downside is that you need Dropbox but don't worry you don't have to install it if you have a YouTube or a Google Plus account you can just hook it up with your Google Plus account and you don't have to download or install anything and then you can just download the zip file and then you're done you unpack the zip file which I did let me go over here uh, it's not this one it's ARC Paint program, this is the file, I still left it there. You unzip this, you get templates and converter extra. And if we go to converter extra, this is what we got. This is one of the images I downloaded, so don't worry about it. So, now we have this program open. And what is really important that um, all the colors are selected, very, very important. And now we uh, want to download something. We want to download um, something that you want to use uh, for your uh, skin. Let me see if I have the website open somewhere. Let me grab it. There we go. Uh, I thought I had it here. I guess I closed it down. Bad me. Bad dark. Just ignore my favorites, please. It's all about... <sighs> There's so much shit in here. I apologize. I need to sort it out. Okay, what I'm using is our paint, if I'm correct. Please be the red one. Yeah, there we go. So, this is one of the websites. There are many websites, but as you can see, there is a lot of stuff. You know, this painting works, uh, this painting program works for dinos, for metal billboards, for canvas, for anything. And this is like a big catalog. And um, these are just examples. But you can search up here for anything you want. There are guides. Uh, this is a very, very good site. So, let's dive into it. I already downloaded something. So, you can click on something, let's say. Uh, blue flame fire this is for an RG and I just download the file I'm not going to use this one don't worry because I already have the fire one and there it goes we downloaded the file okay so I downloaded a couple today so the one I want to do is for my dire wolf so I'm going to my downloads and this is the important thing we need to know what it's called likes because uh, I'm an idiot. I'm going to check with Red Fox is what it's called. Uh, so I want my program back and I'm going to look for uh, Red Fox. There it is. Red Fox Dire Wolf. I'm going to open that. There it is. It's not looking too great in here. But um, before we continue, you want to make sure this isn't... Um, this over here is like what you want to do. Do you want to paint a flag, a billboard, a dino, or a painting canvas, a small sign, or a human? Uh, we want to do a dino. And now we want to save this, and this is really the important bit. So I'm going to press save. And normally, um, your Steam library folder, that's where you need to go, is in C, Program Files, uh, times, uh, what is it, 64, if you have a 64, uh, system and or just go to your program files if you have a pretty two bit system but I have um, my C drive is only for Windows so I've put my Steam library somewhere else but bottom line is you need to find your Steam library so 
it doesn't matter where you have your Steam library, just make sure you be, uh, you're able to find it. Steam library. And from here on on, it's the same uh, wherever you have. If it, you have it on ECD, it doesn't matter. Steam library, Steam apps. Then you go to common, then you go to arc, then you go to shooter game, then you go to saved, and then you go to my paintings. And then we're going to say red. Fox Direwolf character, just a name. I never mess with a name, and I'll say save. This is Dutch for save, by the way. So I just saved this. So now I'm going back to Ark. I'm gonna get my paintbrush out. Make sure if I have all the paints in here. Uh, let me R dot loom quality zero because I just put it up Ark. There we go. So this is my Direwolf. So I'm gonna hit my diary wheel with the um, paintbrush, and I'm gonna say like load. Um, we're gonna click on this. I went a little bit too fast there. Is load paint from this type? Yes. And then red fox, and then select. Now it starts painting, and now we just wait. And this is why you need all the different colors. I hope this is going to make it look good. Oh, I'm starving. Jeez, I wasn't really paying attention to that. And now we're done. And I'm gonna close it up. How does it look? It looks okay, I guess. So we have a red fox over here. But that's one of the animals I have. It's, it's This is kind of okay. I want to show you a couple of other things as well. This is one I made myself. This is my Dark Torian logo. This is one I made as well. It's not that great. It looks okay from a distance, I guess. But that's about it. We could also do something else, like I've downloaded already one for a billboard. Let's say low paint, uh, don't touch, for example. This is just an example. I will select that. This is something I downloaded as well. It's loading in the painting. And it starts to paint. There we go. It's using up all that beautiful paint. I mean, this is one of the first things I run into. Let's close it up. There we go. There it goes. Uh, warning, do not touch my stuff. That's how serious injury will occur. Um, big warning to Speedy. This also works on a canvas, like you can see right here. I made my own logo on a canvas. Works perfectly as well. I'm, I'm going to quickly show you guys some a couple of other dinos, and then we're done. So, just the only thing that is influencing your um, dino colors, your dino uh, war paint, is the color of your um, dino itself. So let me fly over here. At least the wolf. I mean, I had a gray slash black RG, so the fire painting looked really good. Can I get please off this? Thank you. So for example, as a bad example, keep in mind this is a bad example. I wanted to make a black and white pterodon, which I downloaded as well, but because my pterodon is dark green, um, it came out really, really bad. So, stuff like that is going to happen if you're not making your own stuff and if you're downloading it from other people. And you have to keep in mind, even when you're making your own, the color of your dino will always influence um, the outcome, and especially the pattern, like a stripe pattern um, the, with white. The ground color of the dino will come through. I'm just waiting for this to load in because I did some other stuff. I painted some other dinos. I want to show you guys very quickly. Uh, I'm just waiting for Dubai City to load in. Jesus, Speedy. This is Speedy's base. It's getting to a state like at least he can, you know, it is something. Let's put it that way. I don't, I don't want to be too harsh on them, but it's it's getting somewhere. So this, let me remove the saddle. I'm just gonna throw it in this on the inventory. This is a Pepsi Spino, which I downloaded as well from uh, from the website that I just showed you guys. So there you go. A red, white, and blue Spino. You could also call this a Dutch Spino if you want to. Um, also, I downloaded a black and white um, Sarko, but it doesn't really seem to want to work right now. Maybe it's because it's not done loading in. Let me see. Maybe if I fly away and I come back, this happens sometimes. 
And let's check out some other dinos really, really quickly. Because I did some stuff with Speedy. Um, because what we also did was a Spitfire, since Speedy is from the UK. I painted for him a Spitfire RG. It's not the most beautiful thing, but he wanted something that was like... Um, I, was, I asked him, like, uh, should I paint you a USA uh, RG? And he was like, hell no. Uh, so I made him a Spitfire. He says, I don't want to have the USA stuff on me. I was... Uh, I want something from the UK. I was like, well, that can be arranged. So I made him the Spitfire. It's not very, very beautiful, but it does the trick, right? So this is Speedy's uh, Spitfire. I'm gonna park it back. There we go. Back into base. Uh, the other thing I did as well, it was just kind of a joke, is the um, Dodicris, the um, Pokeball on the Dodicris. The color is a little bit off because of the yellow light of Speedy's brazier, but um, yeah, let me. There we go. It's a little bit orange. You can't really see it. Maybe we should throw the saddle up there just uh, for a moment and drive him somewhere else. A little bit out of the orange light. Let's go. There we go. That looks way better. Uh, so I can show you guys. So this is the Pokeball on Speedy's Wide Oak Dickers as well. As well downloaded. So yeah guys, those are uh, the dinos I painted so far. Just a couple of quick runs and a quick, uh, couple of quick experiments. Like, um, like with the RG, I tried the, um, the red flame and I tried the blue flame on Speedy's RG, but because of the kind of red color he has, as you can see, it's kind of getting through. The blue flame doesn't, didn't work at all and the red flame was way too red and you didn't see any of the effects. So keep in mind the, um, the base color, the, the original dino color, plays a huge part in how your painting is going to work out. Um, that's only on dinos though. But um, in the next video I'm probably going to show you guys how you can create your own um, dino skin. And uh, so you can actually work with colors and make it sound like, oh I like this pattern but I need to change the colors because of my uh, the color of my dino. So you will be able to adapt that yourself. We're gonna look um, look into that in the future. I'll, I'll already start working around that. Keep in mind though, this does not apply for any um, billboards or for any canvases or anything else you paint uh, other than a dyno. If you use like the metal billboard, uh, the canvas, stuff like that, walls, whatever you do, those background colors, you know, as you can see, not a issue at all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. All the websites, the websites I'm using, the link for the to the download and the uh, website where I download all the war paints, you can I will put them in the description down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.